Hey guys and welcome to Slasher X Games. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to do a relatively quick and easy screen shake effect. You will be needing to use views and I'll be using this as an example. We have our top down guy, there are some crates and he shoots. Look at that and the ammo goes down. It's not that dramatic. It's quite boring actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a screen shake every time uh, he shoots. It's going to look really impressive and chaotic and crazy. So let's jump right into this. So to start off we're going to go to object player right over here and we're going to go to the global left button. Now basically what we're going to do is we're going to have a shake intensity and um, that's going to set off an alarm which is going to gradually reduce the uh, the intensity and then in a step we can detect if the shake intensity is anything greater than zero then we're going to randomly jumble the uh, the view around. So firstly let's set a shake intensity at start. Okay, let's make this a good size. There we go. So shake intensity Set it to zero. So when we start, we don't want it to shake. Nothing's happened. Set that to zero. I'm going to copy this because we'll use it later on. Go into the global left, pressed. Okay, so this is basically the same as one of my earlier tutorials on uh, shooting bullet at the tip and all that stuff. So clicking will decrement ammo. It'll play the sound, create the bullet instance and such. We're going to go down to here and um, we're going to set the intensity to uh, 10. Okay, set that to 10. Then we're going to set off an alarm. Um, alarm 1, because I already have an alarm 0 that's doing the can shoot variable there. Okay, alarm 1, and uh, we're going to say that's 0 0.2 times room speed. Okay, so every 0 0.2 of a second, it's going to um, decrement the shake intensity by something. So we better set that up right now. Alarm 1, over there, add more code, and in here we're going to say... Uh, Paste that, shake intensity, um, minus equals 10, all right? So that's going to take it back to zero, and then it's going to stop shaking. Then we're going to call this again, all right? So we're going to call this alarm a second time, the same speed. Oops. Okay. And, um, yeah, that's going to decrease uh, the shake intensity. Alright, so once that's done, now we've got to go into the step event and we're going to add the code that makes everything shake about. So here I've got some basic movement. I've got a uh, point towards the mouse code over there. So in between over here, we're going to say here um, if shake intensity is greater than zero, okay, so if it's greater than zero, then we're going to jumble the view around. Now you have to have a view, so if we go into the room, into your game room over here, make sure views are enabled and you do have a view selected. Um, that's why earlier the camera was following our player while the background is moving around. That is a view. So as long as you have a view, this will work nicely. So firstly, we're going to move the x uh, coordinates over here of the view. So we say uh, view, x view, over there, and it's number 0, we call that. Okay, plus equals, choose. So it's going to choose one of these. Oh man, there we go. And we're going to say random. And uh, here we're going to put shake intensity, close that, and then random again, open up, and negative shake intensity. So it's either going to go positive or negative on that one, up or down, it'll be completely random. Then we close that off, close off the second one, yeah, that's good. Now we're going to do the Y, we can just copy that and paste this, change this from view X view to view Y view. And um, that is exactly the same. Now, so we've got that. So we've got the intensity set to zero on start. So we're initiating that, uh, well, initializing, sorry, that variable to zero. Then when we click, uh, when we shoot, only when we're shooting, it puts that uh, shake intensity variable, it gives it a value of 10. Then it's going to start alarm one, which is going to slowly decrement with that until it gets to zero. As long as the step is greater than naught, this is supposed to be naught, not 10. As long as it's greater than naught, then it's going to shake about randomly. And as long as there's a view enabled, this should work nicely. So let's go here, test it out. Okay, so here we are again. Look at that. Every time we shoot, the camera shakes a bit. And the more you shoot, the greater that shake intensity variable gets. But because of the alarm calling itself, see, it doesn't get unbearable. One shot is a little bit, two shots is slightly more, but then it gets to a point where it doesn't get any higher. So that's great, it makes it look really dramatic. Every shot is crazy awesome. 
and um, what you can do is if you um, pair this up with like a weapon switching um, kind of uh, dealy going on there then you can change the value of shake intensity and the lower it is the less of a shake it is so if we go over here and we say well when the player clicks the left mouse button it's going to increase by like 30 this is going to be mad because it's going up by 30 with every click but it's only going down by 10 oh not this one this one it's only going down by 10 every 0.2 of a second so let's click play and see what happens okay so this is going to be pretty crazy look at that that's massive that is an, a massive amount of screen shake and I've got these crates here just to show you a bit of a reference notice that the screen is shaking a lot but yeah you choose what the value of uh, shake intensity you want put in that code and there you go you've got an extremely dramatic and chaotic uh, top-down shooter well I hope you enjoyed this video please feel free to subscribe and rate and comment I look forward to your feedback and I will see you guys next time for another great game maker tutorial thanks for watching